Hey y'all, welcome back to Walk Ready Empowerment Podcast Show, Season 2, where we provide the tools you need to add faith to your purpose. What do that look like? Building up your faith in God, walking in your identity of Jesus Christ, and knowing who you are in Christ. It will catapult you to the next season. We provide Holy Spirit-led tools, so make sure you tune in here weekly every Monday where we come and upload new episodes to empower you for your week. So let's get started with today's episode. Hey y'all, welcome, 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 welcome back to Walk Word the Empowerment Podcast Show with me, Tacola, your faith catalyst. And I am happy to be here today. I want to thank you guys for coming back. For those of you who have been rocking with us for the longest. And if you are a new listener, I want to welcome you as well. So hey y'all, what's going on? Thank you for being here once again. And I'm excited to be here as always. Today is Monday. How are you guys doing out there like what's been going on with you like i know i'm not the only one who have been in the season of rest i miss you guys so much i've been really enjoying my time of rest and it feels good um so i'm back i'm revived i'm ready and recharged and ready to go um for those of you who are not following me on social media make sure you do that follow me on youtube i have been over on youtube i have been over on facebook so follow me on there at i am tacola i've been dropping gems on my new podcast course and i've been sharing like a lot of free free things on my youtube channel so make sure you guys are following me on youtube And have you guys been noticing that a lot of people are starting their um, podcast shows now? Like, when I started this show two years ago, it's just like I see so many people are starting it now. And I'm glad that I was able to create this course to help people start their show and to really start them off on the right footing, right? So... I'm excited to um, see you guys podcast, every one of you that's going to create a podcast show and how help- helpful this course have been to you guys. Don't forget to send in your testimonies. Don't forget to share. I want to shout you guys out. I want to repost your show. I want to listen. So make sure that you email me. Make sure that you're sharing your testimonies on how you have started using your voice in this new um sphere of influence so i'm excited to see the show and hear you guys podcast show and i'm gonna dive right into today's episode today we're talking about repentance and i believe i believe this is on the heart of our dad because he really desired for us to live a repentance lifestyle and i have taught on this in the past but today I want to really come from speaking on how it's important to live a daily lifestyle of repentance because sometimes we repent, but are we doing it daily? That's when we will see the difference. That's when we will see the manifestation of God's power through us, through repentance. Because remember, repentance is a hard posture and a lot of time people want fluff. People just want to hear the good things and how God is going to bless you, how you're going to have this. You want to get married. You're going to have a house, car. Yes, all those things are good. Our father is a good, good father. He His desire is to see us blessed here on earth, but there are requirements to it, right? We have to make sure that our heart is in the right posture to even receive the blessings of God or to even walk in what he told us to do and even to be bold and walk by faith and not by what we see. So that's very important when it comes to repentance. Before I started living a daily lifestyle of repentance, honestly, I was like repenting only when I would fast. And I didn't, I wasn't raised in the church, so I didn't know the appoint, the importance of daily repentance. I didn't know that I needed to repent daily until the Holy Spirit began to teach me these things. And honestly, before I started repenting daily, I didn't see nothing change in my life, to be honest. I didn't see nothing move. I was wondering what's going on. Like, am I doing, doing it right? Like, am I really walking with you, God? Like, are you with me? Like, what's going on? But the secret, listen, when we turn away from our sin completely, because that's what repentance is, it's a turn of your heart posture towards God. Because remember, 
we fall short daily. So we should be repenting daily of the things that we fall short of. Okay. So when we fall short of these things, we are back in right standing through grace, through mercy, through Jesus Christ. And that only comes through daily repentance. But in order to live a lifestyle lifestyle of daily repentance, we have to first cry out for mercy from God. Mercy for God. Because the thing is, we need mercy to be fully surrendered to God. Because if our heart is not fully surrendered to God, then it's hard to live a lifestyle of daily repentance because it's a hard posture. So what comes up against our heart? Pride comes up against it. It hardens the heart. It, 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 it causes your desire to be rooted in your flesh and not of the spirit. That's why once we repent daily, our heart become softer. It become palatable. It become um, able. God is able to move through a repentance heart, through a, a soft heart, a heart that's 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 able to be molded into what he desired it to be, to be ruled by the by the um, spirit, not the flesh. So the things of the flesh, our pride is one of them. That's why repentance is rep- is important for us to do daily. Because when we live a daily lifestyle of repentance, you guys, we will see heaven on earth. We Heaven on earth will manifest before our eyes. And that's why we're here. We're spiritual beings. And God's desire is for us to reign here on earth. Because remember, the earth is the enemy playground. But we are not of the world. We're in it. So at the same time, we have to get rid of these things. We have to get rid of pride. We have to get rid of all these things that might be easily besetting us. Because I want to reference Hosea chapter 6, verse 1 through 3. When the children of Israel, they was not repenting correctly. Yes, it's a right and wrong way of repentance. And they didn't have this revelation because they was only announcing to God of who he is. God, you are just, you will deliver us. You will do this. He would do all these things. Um, and then they never admitted to what they have done. That's what repentance is. You have to admit to your sin. You're confessing your sins. The Bible says when we confess our sins, he's able to forgive us, but they didn't confess their sins. They only was confessing who God is, but they never said, oh, I did this. Forgive me. I repent for this. I repent for this because their intentions was not to turn their intentions. They wanted God to keep saving them. How many of us been there? Or you might be there right now when you feel like, oh, God going to save me from this. I just need one more time. God, if you come get me out of this, this last time, (laughs) if you come save me this last time, I won't do it no more. But God know the heart. We don't know the heart. We can't see your heart. But God sees the heart. He know if you really going to do it again. He know that you're going to fall again. But he wants you to continue to repent daily to be able to turn away from these things that easily beset us. So that's when we go walk into the righteousness of God. That's when we are made righteous. That's why. That's when we are made holy through Jesus Christ. That's when... We are not to walk in perfection, but it's to stay in right standing with God because we're not perfect beings. We are, we sin daily, but repentance help with stirring. It's just like driving a car, right? You need oil in your vehicle. If you don't have oil in your engine, your engine is going to blow. That's how I see it with repentance. Repentance help stir your walk with Christ. Without re- daily repentance, your walk becomes stale. You, you're able to, you're going to fall into the temptations of your flesh. You're going to fall into the temptations of the worldly desires and what the world wants from you. But when you live in a lifestyle of repentance daily, you're going to look at things how God see it. You're going to live for things of the spirit, not of the things of your fleshly desires, not of the things that you want, you want to see here. No, you want to desire the things of the spirit, but that come through us remembering who God is and crying out for mercy. And as it says in second Samuel 22 verse 21, it said, the Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands. He has recompensed me. 
That's something because in order for the Lord to recompense us according to the cleanness of our hands, that's through repentance. We are recompensed for our sins. We are in right standing with God again through Jesus Christ, through the blood that washes us. That's why I said repentance is powerful. So if you're on here now, you're listening to this podcast show today, and you probably thinking, man, I never knew that I should be repenting daily. Start from today. Start today from doing it. It's never too late. It's never too late. Once you get the knowledge, now you have to apply it. So you might be wondering, how can I do this? How can I repent daily? What else do I need to do? Number one, you guys know I do not leave no episode without giving you the tools to add the faith to your purpose. So number one, I'm going to give you practical tools. Practical tool number one is to repent daily. Yes. What do that look like? Father, I repent for gossiping. Father, I repent for lying. I repent for doubt. I repent for worry. You confess the things that you know you did. And even if you didn't, if you, if you thought of it, or if you feel like, man, I think I fell short here, just confess it out of your mouth because you confessing your sin. We know when we fall short. We know what we ain't supposed to be doing. Come on. Like we know this already. So that's why it's, it's important to confess it out of our mouth. Number two. You have to submit your life to the Holy Spirit daily. What did that look like? Holy Spirit, guide me throughout this day. Holy Spirit, what should I do today? Holy Spirit, how should I um, talk to my children today? How should I interact with my spouse? How can I love them differently today? Holy Spirit, show me what grocery store. Yes, practical things. Your day-to-day activities should be ruled and governed by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, govern my conversations today. Because a lot of times we need the Holy Spirit to govern our conversations. A lot of conversations, we have to have uncomfortable conversations sometimes. And honestly, if we don't allow the Holy Spirit to rule and to lead our life, it's easy to fall in the flesh and say something out of context. So that's number two. Number three, I would say you have to die to yourself and your fleshly desires. Yes. We have to die to ourselves. Just like Jesus died on the cross for our sins. We have to die to the old man. To our sin nature. We have to die to that. And let our spirit man arise within us. But that's that's only if we die to ourselves daily. Through daily repentance. Through the admitting of our sin. Through us seeing that we fall short daily. And asking God for mercy. And not being consumed by our fleshy desires. Not feeling like we have arrived. Or not feeling like, oh, letting your flesh do the talking for you. Come on. We all been there. So, by doing these things, it will get you back in right standing with God. You will have the mercy of God. Your heart will be soft. You will be walking in the righteousness of God. And he will recompense you. He will bring you to a place of perfection through him because we're not perfect, but Jesus is. So through Jesus, we could be made perfect. So start there, you guys. And um, I'm so happy to be back. I'm so happy to be able to help you. And honestly, if you haven't been rested in this season, if you haven't had a chance to sit back and be quiet with God and have that time, it's still not too late to have that time with God and to really um, have that quiet time to hear what he's doing in your future. What is it that he wants you to do to help, especially if you are leaders, you own this podcast show and you're a leader and you lead God's people. You must hear from God. You must get in your quiet place daily and to hear what God wants you to do to lead his people and to the truth and to the way of life. And I'm excited to be back. Make sure you guys follow, follow, follow on all my social media platforms at I am Tacola. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast show. Send your questions in. Send some topics that you guys want to hear on the upcoming episodes. I will be doing interviews soon, so be on the lookout for that. Let me know who y'all want to see on the show. Let me know. Um, send me an email at Tacola at walkreadyempowerment.com. Let me know what's your take on today and how are you guys are feeling? What's new? What's going on? Send me an email and I'll be sure to apply, uh, reply back 
Or you can send me a DM on Instagram at I am Tacola or Facebook, I am Tacola. So until next week, I'll talk to you guys later. And that's it for this week episode. I want to thank you guys for listening, for tuning in this week. And don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms. Let us know what you think of this week episode. And don't forget to tag us on our social media so we can reshare. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to the show. And share this episode with a friend. If this blessed you today, I challenge you to share this with three people. And until next week, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.